Have you ever stopped and imagined, what if humanity actually left Earth? Not in a movie, not in a distant dream, but for real, living on Mars, the Moon, or maybe even worlds beyond our Sun. Today, we're diving into one of the most exciting questions of our future. Can we really live on another planet? Let's start with the big, why? Why Mars? Why the Moon? Why not just stay home? Well, Mars and the Moon are the closest realistic options we've got. The Moon is only a few days away, perfect as a future space transit hub. And Mars? It has ice beneath the surface, potential water, potential fuel, potential life support. For scientists, these two worlds are like the doorway to everything beyond. But before you pack your astronaut suitcase, space hits back, hard, no breathable air. Mars's atmosphere is so thin you'd need full life support just to take a single breath. The moon? Basically no atmosphere at all. Then there's radiation. On Earth our magnetic field protects us. On Mars and the moon? You're exposed, constantly, to cosmic and solar radiation. That means future habitats must be buried underground or shielded like sci-fi bunkers. And gravity? A huge problem. Mars has only 38% of Earth's gravity. The moon has just 16%. Your muscles weaken, your bones lose density, your body literally changes, and not in a good way. Plus, extreme temperatures, toxic dust, no liquid water, and complete dependence on technology for everything, air, heat, water, food, survival. So, is there any hope? Absolutely. Right now, in 2025, scientists are running Mars simulation missions on Earth. Teams live in sealed habitats, recycle their water and air, grow food, test equipment, and study the psychological effects of isolation. Space agencies and private companies are building new spacecraft and designing the first prototypes of Martian and lunar bases. We're even researching how biology and genetics might help create organisms, or future space settlers, more resistant to radiation and extreme environments. It's still early, still theoretical, but the ideas are boldly shaping the future. So what does all this mean? It means humanity might not build a city on Mars anytime soon. But temporary research stations, small controlled habitats, early experimental settlements, those are no longer sci-fi. They're emerging from the shadows of possibility. And now the real question turns to you. Would you live on Mars if you had the chance? Would you trade blue skies for a red desert? Earth gravity for Mars gravity? Freedom for a pressurized dome? Tell us in the comments. Your answer says a lot about how you see the future. For the full story, deeper science, and the real challenges behind human space colonization, watch the complete episode only on For Science Salah Latfi channel.